What's going on ladies and gentlemen? All right, nice little job today. Pretty simple. Toilet leak. Could be the shutoff valve. Could be the uh, could be the supply line. Uh, went to the Home Depot, as you can see. Things are starting to pick up down here in Connecticut. People are all over the place. They're practicing uh, social distancing. Everybody's got the masks on, the gloves, everything, cuz. All right, look, look at this guy just stopping right in the middle. Okay. Hey, hey what's up, cuz? Hey, we're doing great. It's Friday. That's it, man. Monday. All right, listen, we're going to head off to the job. I don't know who that was. It looked like Colonel Sanders, cuz. All right. And uh, we'll be in the uh, customer's bathroom in about, I don't know, a few seconds. We got, you can see we got water on the floor. If you look close, it's leaking right in here. So shut your water down. We're going to remove this supply line. It's been kinked a little bit. We're going to check the threads on this shutoff valve. If this needs to be replaced, we have a threaded shutoff valve. We're going to shut the main water down and we'll replace that if need be. Always have a nice light set up for yourself and the proper tools, gloves, and of course I got the face mask on, just, just for uh, precaution. All right, let's check it. Looking at it, the threads look pretty good. We're gonna look into here. I don't know if you can see this. Doesn't look too bad, but because of the kink there, I'm gonna just replace the line and we're gonna check it for leaks. On. Make it tight, but don't over tighten it and fill it up and watch for leaks. And it looks like that was it. The supply line it was put on crooked, the threads were not stripped, and I was able to save that shutoff valve. So let's go on to the next project replacing a bathtub spout all right all right we got to replace the tub spout you turn on the water it's a diverter when you lift it it's supposed to send the water up and come out of the shower head but under here this thing is shot it's broken and all the water just gushes out it doesn't work some of these you take off by removing counterclockwise and then others have a set screw underneath. If you see that little slot, it's either a hex head, not a hex head, but an Allen wrench. It could be a flathead screwdriver or Phillips. So I'm gonna take a look and see what we have. I have the replacement, which is a Moen, and the replacement part, you can understand a little bit better by looking at it. There's the screw and when you tighten it it goes up into the pipe to secure it all right and then you would just slide it right onto the pipe and tighten the uh, set screw all right so let's take this one off and we'll slide this one back on and then we'll test the diverter all right i couldn't finish that video the battery went out on the phone while i was there and I wasn't going to go out to the truck and charge it. So I'm back, back at the spot, back at the trailer. What we're going to do is grab our tools. We just put these right back in real quick. Uh, just put it up there for now. I got some stuff left over from another job. I think I'm going to sit here and just clean this out for a bit. All right, that's it. So, uh... You know, checking the uh, leaky valves, the shutoff valves, check that. Check the supply lines. Even check the uh, that plastic nut that holds on the, the uh, water fill inside the tank. Sometimes it'll leak from there. If by putting that new uh, line on, the new supply line, if the customer stripped the threads out and it was leaking, I was going to change the supply line, but it worked out well. It worked out fine. All right, that's it. I uh, It's been a while. I appreciate you guys watching. 
things are starting to pick up here uh supposedly may 20th we're going to be opening up restaurants outdoor seating only i believe something like that and uh i don't know i'll shoot maybe a video out if i'm out there and i see uh see things happening you know while i'm picking up uh, other work all right stay safe out there i appreciate it and uh oh and all the new subscribers i do appreciate it and if there's any questions or anything uh put them in the comments I have time. I'll definitely answer you back as soon as I can. And uh, on that note, you know what we have to do now. Uh, yo, Sonny! Is my man hiding behind here? No, that's the Echo, kid. The CS400. Oh, and that rigid chop saw. Sonny! Sonny? Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, like the video hit that bell if you hit the bell it, it goes to more people or something like that I don't know hit the bell subscribe share and like whatever you got to do with this video kid we'll catch you on the next one Sonny